I I was driven to write um, A Perfect Mistake because uh, both my husband and my older son have ADHD, and um, I've just really empathized with them over the years. People with ADHD receive a large portion of negative feedback in their lives. When they're young, you know, I certainly saw it when my husband, we met in high school, so I saw it then, and ADHD wasn't really recognized or treated very much then. And then I experienced it going through the schooling process with my son, who is now 16. Um, and what I saw was just this tendency to, to get a lot of negative feedback and to really feel a tremendous amount of guilt about making a mistake. And so I wanted to write a book that showed a boy who's living with ADHD and he's, mm -hmm. he's managing his life and learning that it is okay to make mistakes. And that that feedback that they often get, that these mistakes are so terrible, um, is not often the case. And they really shouldn't equate their self-worth with whether or not they make a mistake. So that was very important to me to write about that message. Yeah. I, you know, again, I, I, I let you know that I'm, I'm in the middle, like I'm, you know, finishing it. But, you know, there are a couple parts that stood out to me that you really understand this. Because like you said, your husband and your son have it. But I just love that you were able to interweave that inner narrative that often happens. Because I I, uh, 